This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, and of course, we've been vibing to some good music. Yes, yeah, speaking of good music, I've got a very, oh wow, a very beautiful guest in the studio. And she has very beautiful songs as well, so it's like the best of both worlds. You're going to get in the best of this pretty lady and the best of our beautiful songs. And she goes by the name Daniela Napoleon, popularly known as Nappy Girl. She made her first appearance in the Nigerian music scene with a cover to American rapper Young Emmy's song titled, ooh, ooh, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Her first debut single was released on December 1st, 2017, and she titled as um, Aw. The song was released under the name Danny. After this, she took a break off the music scene to work on a brand Delphine Beauty. She has also featured in an online rap series with a Nigerian rapper Magneto where she played the lead role as the notorious wife of the rap, not just notorious, she used to shoot Tower's band <laughs> with lots of drama and suspense. Let us welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tea Time studio, to the Tea Time table, and of course to your screen, the Nappy Girl! Hey. What's Hi. good, Mama? I was expecting Nappy Hill. Oh, oh, oh. All the lovely introduction that you had to anyway, she, she shoots it. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting Nappy Hill, I was expecting My hair, Kinky yeah. Fro, oh, like, it, what's it, up with it, that? I'm growing that on the knee. Okay. I want you to get to a certain place. I feel you. Well, you just like no, I feel, I feel you. It's, it's, I feel it's you on that one. A journey of, mm. like, for three years in okay I'm okay four, actually nice so i want the fro to be really bulky mm. so this just gives me time to rock all the color hairs i want to well, i get there i feel so. you because i amazing. feel like i'm gonna transition into a phase where i'm gonna be tired of oh, frontal, of oh, yeah. oh yeah so i'm grooming it yeah and then you get tired of of the fro and i'll then you cut go, it off <laughs> or something and then you you know? <laughs> i like that we have that kind of yeah, diversity yeah, yeah. yeah it's really cool all right so um i know your instagram pages act yeah you have you had thousands of followers and then now you're back to like hundreds how, how, how did you cope with that and how did you manage to lose it that's crazy um okay so i was putting out a video the mm. next day it was evening it's like 4 p.m. We were just, me and my team, going through what we needed to go through to make sure that the video release was going to go smoothly. And then, from for some reason, I was trying to check something on my Instagram, and I, and I couldn't sign back. I mm. couldn't sign in. I'm like, what's going on? Why can't I? Mm. You know, I tried my other device. It wasn't working. And um, my assistant was like, do you have to step with education? I said, what's that? She's like, oh, my God. I think your account has been hacked. And that's how we, we kept trying. I got home. My brothers were on. Everybody was on it. And... I was hacked. I think it's a problem that a lot of celebrities face, especially. Yeah, the, the same is a group, was a group of hackers. Mm. They hacked, the people, same people that hacked the bunch. They mm. hacked, I think they hacked Buju. Mm. They hacked a couple of artists. They hacked a lot of people, especially if you have a verified account, your account is a target. I used to be under the impression that because my account was verified, I couldn't get hacked. Well, mm. well, here we are, mm. you know. Um, so what's the journey like building it's, the game? Now? It's, um, is it, wasn't um, it possible for you to just get that one back? Yeah, I tried. Mm. Yeah, but I think because it was in the middle of the holiday season, mm. most of the offices that would attend to the processing mm. were closed. I can still work on getting it back if I want to invest my energy in that. Mm. But it's a 50-50 and mm. I'm not one that I don't have that energy. Mm. Let yes, it let it, I'm not someone that I'm that attached to my Instagram. Yes, my Instagram page is important to me. It's important to my career. It's important to my brand. Mm. And I put in work. I used to be a very lazy Instagrammer. Because of my career, I had to actually stop posting. I love taking pictures. I just don't post them. Mm. So I had to learn to put out the pictures I right. take, the videos I make, and I started enjoying it, and yeah. then I got hacked. Or, you know, it was just a little drag. I got myself back together. Just I had to delay a couple of things, yeah. like the video I was supposed to put out and stuff, because, you know, that was my mm. major platform of communicating with my fans. But I think what I learned from that is not to over-centralize my audience. Mm. So, mm. you get me? And then, Speaking um, bars, this woman. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so, you know, I just, I just, I took a deep breath and I went on. I have a lot of things I do. So naturally, I have a busy mind. Mm. So it's not like it was weighing on me. I wasn't mm. depressed or nothing. I had Delphine Beauty 
math lunch to focus on. I had other projects during the holiday period that kept me busy. And, you know, I opened a new account. The year was starting. I was like, I'm not going to be hung up on that. Whether or not I'm trying to get that one back, we need to move. Napa Girl has to be online. People need to look for me and they need to find me. I feel like that's so, really inspirational. I, I, and it, you might see like just banter, but it, it shows a lot about your character um, and about the resilience that you also have, which I know is really key for this industry, especially in your field and just how difficult and competitive yeah. this this space is for everybody really yeah, women it's crazy. man um, but i want to find out more about that because now i feel a lot more comfortable asking you because your mind is clearly quite strong and you're not one to hold on to trivial things yeah, which no, is no, rare no. as well um is there anything that you feel like in the industry people want you to take seriously about yourself but you don't just see the need for that like uh, what is it that they want me? I think my my um, putting more of my personal life out there. Mm. Now, I, I may post a lot, but then you barely know a lot about mm. me. I feel like people feel like they can read me, they feel they know me. Yes, there's mm. an image of myself that I put out there because that's the way I want people to perceive me or see me. At least I'm comfortable with that version of myself. Right. But I have so many versions of myself that until you get to actually meet, you can't oh. put me in a box and mm. say, this is nappy girl. Right. So people, I know people that are close to me in the industry are like, why not do this, why not do that? I'm like, I want to grow into that place where I'm more comfortable mm. with sharing more. Right now, I'm in a hustle, hustle like big place in my life. Mm. So I put out as much as I can share, but I'm not going to put pressure on myself to share more. Also, what I've learned is, you know, the more the more um, of your privacy that you have in terms of your personal life, the easier it is to cope with all the stress that the industry brings. Mm, right. Yeah. Right. So, what is that um, stereotypical thing about the industry that you hate so much that they everybody, just want you to do it? Everybody believes that um, rap is a dead end. Mm. Sing, do kokolo, whatever it yeah. is, like, jump on whatever it is that is trendy. And you know, um, everybody's like, you're wasting time. Yes, I want to do commercial music. I want to put out commercial sounds and you know, so that I can grasp a larger audience. Cause I, as a rapper, I know that, yeah, rap music in Nigeria isn't something that is very promising, but I'm not someone that I've limited my sound or my brand mm. to right. Nigeria. Right. I'm trying to build a global brand for myself. Yes, girl. So limiting myself to just what this environment needs, needs mm -hmm. is going to limit my brand as a whole. Mm. So I know that it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but they're going to have to vibe to it. I'm going to give them tunes that they, they will be forced By to force, go listen yeah. to. Do you understand? I'm True. going to, I'm going yeah. to give and it we, to and them. And we've seen they're that. Going to, I'm we, going to force feed have. them the music. I mean, if you, if you told us that there's some sounds that we're hearing now that, oh, Nigerians are not going to it's accept. Going to but it, yeah. I think you, if you if you believe in it, we will believe in it too. Yeah. But I want to ask about rapping though. Like, yeah. how did that find you? How did you find it? Because it, it is, <laughs> I, I think one of the reasons why we think it's such a dead end is because it's not a very common thing in our culture, especially it's like... amongst ladies too. Exactly. So how did did that come about? Well, um, growing up, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't grow up with the mind that I'm, I'm gonna be a rapper or nothing okay. like that. No, it wasn't like that. I had other plans for myself. I was gonna read law, you know, okay, be a girl. barrister, yeah. wear the whole wig, read the family barrister, you know, <laughs> and all that. But you know, growing up happens. You grow up and you figure out things about yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, if there's anything I learned in my journey through. Yeah, university is that finding what makes you happy and pursuing it is the only way you can enjoy your journey and your process through life. Mm. Yeah. You know, it might be tedious, it might be heartbreaking, but the fact that you have love for what you do and you do enjoy it, it's going to just give you that that energy, that, that mm. you know, to keep going. So I, I didn't know I was a musician. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. So how did but, you find out? But I grew up, I grew up bumping to, you know, music. Mm -hmm. I used to, I used to record on my mom's tapes. Mm -hmm. I used to, record on top yeah, of them she would want to kill me society. you know because she yes yeah, she had her songs on it I would, when the radio is playing and one of those children i knew how to record songs from the radio mm. because i didn't want to wait for the radio to play to hear it again, again right. so you know i was already in that line my mom used to tell me that i should leave music and face school. i mean i used to be wondering like what's this someone talking about which music yeah, <laughs> like right. me i was just having fun with it mm. but as at the time i was in the university um 
I realized that I was very into music. I could sing, I could sing along to, I don't know, a zillion songs mm. without knowing the fuck mm. I'm always bumping. And my, my, my um, neighbors would be like, ah, I'm more, you this know, girl, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still didn't take it seriously. I was just very focused on school, mm. you know. Being a barrister. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just, you know, school, basically. I was focused on school. And then, um, it was my final year. I came to Lagos. I was in a friend's house. They had a studio. Long story short, I was going to see a movie. Let me just hop in the studio five minutes and see what's going on. Two hours later, I, I, I was done with my first song. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then, and that's just, this is how it started. And, and you didn't write it anyway. No, we just, we just, we were just playing the right. producer, which is still my producer to date, nice. Bola, Bola Tosh, mm. was like, can you sing? When I walked in, I was like, uh, uh, no, really. He's like, let me play you a beat. Just do whatever. Free, feel free. Just mm. do whatever you want to do on it. An artist that was recording at the time was working on his EP. And, you know, I just, I did a vibe and they liked it and they're like okay this is gonna be the hook to sing i'm like oh, okay what's going on here yeah, yeah. yeah this chicken yeah. sell oh my god but then i was in my final year i was working on my project and my head was just like ah you know our I'm family to, hmm. you've come this far just finish this school don't let anything distract you mm -hmm. yes yeah, so i was in lagos for a couple of days i i worked on a couple of, of you know songs the producer had my time you know mm. he said come back tomorrow when you wake up or something let's chill let's just see what we can do mm. and so i did a couple like two three songs and i went back to school and i was playing in my room my neighbors came like oh who is this person is bad like ah! <laughs> you know so I, I i i saw the natural reaction right. from yeah. people and i was mm -hmm. like okay so this is something and i've always loved music mm. just that the environment where we come from as a female it's not one of the things that you are actually encouraged to pursue yeah, even absolutely. naturally as a nigerian child mm. let alone a female yeah you understand so i realized i was better at rapping than singing i can how sing how did that happen i enjoy rap right and so I've got bars. Hip hop is dead Do you understand? Alive, what would you say? Ah, hip hop is very much alive. Oh. All right, so I need you to prove that because a lot of people believe that hip hop is dead. So can no, you just hip hop, prove it and hip hop, hip hop, hip hop is not dead. Okay. Do you know, so hip hop cannot die mm. because hip hop is poetry. Hip hop mm. is hip hop is expression. Hip hop is art. Most of the music you see today is it's, a version of hip hop. Yeah, right. Beyonce that you Buzz. see today that that keeps killing it. It's because she's married to a rapper mm. and her songs they, they're so meaningful mm. because she's able to say so much even if she's singing it. Mm. Do you understand? So we want you to speed bars. Why do you want me to speed bars? Because you can. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> can I, 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 I ask you a question before you even speak yeah. about? It. Do you think you can lack English fundamentals? Basically, not know how to speak very well or write very well and still be able to rap of course not uh, rapping has nothing to do with your language because yeah. mm, i heard this the reason i'm saying that i heard this rumor one time on is well people are having a conversation about it because i admire rap because i cannot do it at all it's one of the things <laughs> i know i'm incapable of doing um and i was you know i was, I was going to say let me try and then they were like okay you know go and then she said to me this is a rapper also saying it. This was abroad. She said to me, um, that I'm surprised that you don't know how to rap because you're good with English and stuff. Yeah. So it kind of made me what subconsciously she was, what think she's that. What she's referring to mm. in, in that situation is, because so I said rap is poetry. Mm. You don't necessarily need to put it in, in a deep voice and overly emphasize things to mm. rap. Right. Because we teach if you're, you how to rap, if you mm. if you if you're eloquent, if you eloquent, it means that your vocabulary gives mm. you the capacity sure. to arrange words. Right. words. So, it, it, it's so it's, a, it's, it's more a, of wordplay. Right. So okay. to how you have wordplay at your disposal, right. so means what, that you can right. take okay. it to the next okay. level. Okay. Okay. Right, so so want you, you want you want me to do yeah, some no, wordplay? Give me, with you? Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite word? Uh, I can't say on TV. Uh, okay, your love. Okay, Let's do love. Love. Steal that love. Just steal that love. Okay, um, so, um, okay, basically, you want to throw words around, like, um, she says she loved me, but I don't love her. How we gonna do this love, gonna kill each, we gonna love or kill each other, you know? Stuff like that. Stuff like so that. So now, let me give you a word, yeah. run, <coughs> run, <coughs> kick some bads with run. Yeah, right. <coughs> yeah. Let's go, run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baby girl, run through it, run through it. Okay. Let's just run through it. Um, I want to run. Wait, 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 I want to run. My money come, hey. then I'm on the run. Hey. I'm gonna bump hey. and have fun. Hey. What you gonna do when uh. you see me pull through? Um. I be in my XS. Mm. What's an XS? XS. Not Whatever. <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> so you can, you, can, you, can, you can just change that right. to to to, 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 a, to a car. Mm. You know, I be mm. in my Rari cruising. Mm. When mm. you see me moving, you know, just okay. my engine words. running. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm an engine running. Mm -hmm. Yes, wordplay. I have an assignment to do today. Yeah. No, but basically, it's, it's, 
it's it's a matter of you got a rhythm, mm. you got the words, you know how you want to bounce to it, and mm. then you bounce to it. Okay. Mm. So, so she can make it bounce. Okay. Do you think you have bounce. any competition in the industry presently? No. Because and I feel like that's why most of the people that have paid attention to my brand feel like, why are they slow? Why are they mm. yeah, because nobody space, they space, 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 space. Well, mm. you know, I'm someone that I've, I have a plan for myself. And yes, I'm trying to jump on my opportunity while it's hot. But then I'm also trying to create a foundation that when I jump, I don't fall. Mm. And use my back to not grab. Because these people that are telling you jump, jump, even if you're falling, they're not going to be there to hold you. Mm. You fall on your own. But what do you think is really <laughs> stopping you? Nothing is stopping me. The industry is just, it's not organized. Mm. We don't have a structure. So basically, it's, it's a bunch of try your luck, try your luck. It's not about your sound being good. Right. It's about your sound being heard. Mm. And then when the people in, those, in the position to ensure that your sound is heard, feel like you're not feeling it. Mm. There's actually nothing you can do about it. Even if that's not, even even if that's if, not the case and your song is actually fire. Yeah, so mm. we don't have a structure around the industry that even really, really, really gives room for new sound. If you check out all the new artists that are really popping, that you, your, your Omale, mm. Joe Boy, Fire Boy, they all come from an artist Once that is already yeah. up there. Yeah. So it's more like taking the sound and just taking it to the top. Mm. All right, all right. We, we, we want to see how much you know music, so we'll be playing song as a stage. And we want to see how much you go with your <laughs> music. So let's start. The first word is fire. Fire, fire, fire. The video. I know the one that was difficult. <laughs> Love. Um, you have you, three um, seconds. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> you, you just took out of my time. <laughs> it could be love. Yeah. I don't know this one. And be love. love. Right. Mali. Mali. Yeah. All right, music. <laughs> what? Music. You want a word that has music in it? I don't know. I can't think of music. mine. Music. No, 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 no. no. Music make me lose control. Music make me lose control. Music make me lose control. That's Missy Elliott yeah. and oh. Sierra. See, music heals your body. Oh, you feel like a sing. Wow. No, no, no. She can sing. Okay, white. <laughs> white. Uh, white. Even very difficult. Hey, no, they're easy, actually. White. Well, it's just to think it's of white. it. It's white. It's black. <laughs> so you're answering all the questions <laughs> because I'm so good. <laughs> no, right. it's because you prepared for this. Okay, rap. This words are just coming. My producer didn't even put them up. Mm. Rap. 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 Huh. Rap. You want me to very, use uh, rap? Yeah, for, okay, look for a song that has rap. rap. Oh my god. Is there any? Uh, there is. So there's, there's a lot, but it's just that when you listen to a rap song, it's not one of the things you pay attention to. Mm. I can't think okay, of what about? Give it the last one. Okay. I know even Tupac has lots of songs that says rap in it, it, but right. what can't. about Lagos? Ah, uh, ain't nobody like the Lagos party, Lagos party, we're fighting. Hey, just throw your hands up hey. in the club. Hey. Hey. Where's Where's Banky Banky w? W? Where is Banky W? Where is Banky W? Where is Banky W? Alright, alright. So uh, yeah. you're gonna be our guest anchor to end, oh. continue the show. But before you even join us on the show, tell us um what what you're up to in 2021. What should we be expecting? Mm. Well, where where can people find you? Know, let's build back your brand. You know. Yeah. You guys can find me on Instagram. Nappy Girl Danny, that's mm. my new account. What was the old girl. one? Nappy Girl underscore Danny. Okay. So mm. now without the underscore, just. I don't feel like that makes more sense. <laughs> <to be honest. laughs> Nappy Girl Danny and on Twitter Nappy Girl underscore Danny, mm -hmm. um, Facebook Nappy Girl Danny. Yeah, for for my personal accounts, that's it. Okay. All right. So what should we be expecting in twenty? Do you have a new song? EP? Well, um, first of all, I'm putting out a video. Okay. Maybe in a week or two. I'm just trying to be mm. sure of the date before I announce it. Mm. I'm putting out a video. For so what that, song? Envy. Okay. What's the vibe of the like? What should we expect from the it's video? A, it's, it's a proper nappy vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot video. Okay. That's all I can say. I already <laughs> understand. It's a hot video. Um, so that's going to kind of like set the tone mm. for like, you know, projects to come. I've got a couple singles. I haven't decided which one I want to put out, you know, but I'm looking to do mostly features this year. I want to okay. do collaborations. Is there I feel like, that you're aiming for? Ah, uh, me, I'm aiming for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway, key key collaborations. Mm. I really want to work with Tiwa Savage okay. because I feel like she has that girl energy yeah, that would just does. balance mm -hmm. with my yeah. rap energy. Mm. So I can't wait to create magic with her. 
And I would like to work with Nini Ola. Mm. I love the way she plays with house music. Mm. I'm, I'm a big fan of Nini. Um, for the female artists, those are like the two key artists right now off the top of my head mm. that I would like to work with. Mm -hmm. And then for the male, I wouldn't work with Burner. Mm. I want to work with Wiz. Mm. I want to work with, um, um, there's this guy, um, he's kind of new, but he's been doing really good. Oxlade. No, he's a rapper. Hmm. Mm, rapper. Rapper, really yeah. good coming. Anyway, um, um, I want to work with um, Omale. Mm. I like his sound. I like the way he plays the music. And Rema, Rema is a sweet boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. the sound Yes, now his sound has this, you know, at first when Rema was like blowing up, I was like, ah, what's, so what's it about? Yeah. This, this sound just like, you know, a, a whiz sound, you yeah. know? But then he's been able to give me that, it is me. Consistency. Yeah, 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 this is this You is can Rema. find him now. Yeah, you can yeah. find him in, in the music. Yeah. So you're vibing to Rema one. Is there anyone, now. just uh, before? Always a hundred. Oh. Is there oh, anyone that you look up to in terms of your space? So I'm just trying to figure out how, what fuels you. Because those people that you mentioned now, even with the women, they're not really rappers or anything. So who do you like gain your inspiration from? Like, I like this person, it's clear in the game. Uh, there are lots of people that I enjoy to watch here. Okay. Yeah, um, people that I've grown close to. Um, Magneto, we work together mm -hmm. a lot. Magneto is a very cool rapper. Larry Gaga is someone that mentors me, so you know, uh, gives, you me, have, that, you have a, gives uh, me that. Gives me that. Solid bad the names that you're mentioning, <laughs> girl. So you know, um, for this environment, there's there's. The female I, I, I look at and admire is Tiwa. A lot mm. of people will be like, Tiwa, this Tiwa, that, but I try to make them understand that, see, being a female in Nigeria is a lot of work. It is. Being a female artist in Nigeria is even more work. Being a female consistent artist, because being a woman, there's so many things that will come along that will try to distract you from your path. Mm. There, there, there's plenty wahala being a woman, you know. Oh, okay, right, right. So just, just, just the fact that she's been, you know, she's, she's kept on coming. I'm, I, I'm so proud mm. of her as, mm. as a person, as mm. an artist, that when she represents us, you know when say T.Y. is coming, mm. we know anywhere she goes in the world, she knows the forehand. I know. You understand? I know. And I feel like that is how you represent your people. Yeah. She carries us well. Mm. She mm. carries herself well, yeah. and thus she carries us well. All right, so well. off the yeah. back of what you said now, with the people you know, now I want to say, like I said, you'll be our guest anchor, but we don't have much time anymore. So I just want to discuss a story where Asa Asika, David O's manager, said uh, nobody's responsible for showing you the way. So. Um, like you said, you may be very strategic, you may want things, but of course they have, you have people in your circle that can definitely fast track whatever it is you're doing. Absolutely. And um, do, at some point, do you look at them like, you don't want to show me the way or something like yeah, that? Do you feel really, like they're, they're not, people I'm not responsible? I'm one of those people that see life like that too. Mm. You know, I've, I've been um, working for as mm. long as I can remember. I grew up working. I went to school working. Mm. So I'm someone that I've, I've had to meet with different people from different walks of life at different points of time. Mm. And I realized that nobody will really show you the way. Mm. They can only assist you, give you a bump, a boost, based off on what you can do for yourself, first of all, what are you bringing to the table? Do mm. you understand? Nobody's going to just single-handedly pick you. Anybody that you see doing well today, they've put in work, maybe not when you were paying attention. Mm. Do you understand? People want to see that seriousness in you before they even invest any energy in you. Mm. Because a lot of people have invested in people, try to push people, and then those people turn out to be disappointments, turn right. out to be a waste of their time. So in as much as they will assist you, they will not really show you the way. It is your hunger. It's how badly you want it. Resilience. That resilience is what's going to get you to where you're going. And you have to create your own path. Okay, so let me ask it. Because I know in his tone, I, I mean, I'm I, I, I'm down with what you just said. Yeah. But in his tone, he was kind of making it look like, okay, let me ask you this. Do you think it is still a human responsibility to share the knowledge? Like, I'm expecting that... With everything that you've said, your talent, your sound, how you work, you know, you're going to get to a level where it's even hard to even reach yourself because you've not seen my message on Instagram. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, you're going to blow um, even bigger, right, yeah. than your imagination and all of that. But if you now see another upcoming artist, female, just like you, yeah. years down, do you think that there is a responsibility to, yes, yes. in you in, sharing in, 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 that? I'm partial when it comes to that. 
Okay. Because I feel like we don't have a lot of females in the industry. Mm. Me, I'm coming to make room sure. for more females mm. in the industry. Sure. So there's going to be a lot of helping hand. Mm -hmm. If I see, if I spot, um, as a matter of fact, the moment my ship pops mm. and it's going the way I want, I want to pull females along, as mm. many females as possible that I can afford to bring mm. along. So that is, you know, it's a vibe, it's an yeah, energy. Absolutely. Like, if I had someone give me that boost, I know how far I would have gone. Yeah. Do you understand? So if from that perspective, definitely. I'm looking forward to doing showcases, platforms where it's just, are you a female, female rap? What can you mm. do? You know, mm. and especially for female rap. Mm. You know, because female rap, like it or not, mm. it's, 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 it has come to stay. It True has. That. So this show, we just True need that. to make that, Alrighty. Alrighty. that Alrighty. space for it in our But some of us are running have, out of time. Okay, oh, okay. Because right. no, I, no, I, no, I was going to say, go. though, like most of the um, American artists, like females that we see, have, you know, the nice behinds and stuff. And you're also leading that way. Yeah. Some, yeah. Of us, some of us with small associations, right? We feel left out in the rap space. Well, you see, Ariana Grande, you see how little she is. Ariana Grande is not rapping. She's not a rapper. So if I want to be a rapper now, do you think I need that? I can't think of any female rapper from the states off the top of my head that is smallish. Mm. But I'm just saying, Liu it's King. not. It's not. She's no. not smallish. <laughs> it's not about. It's not. So it's so not so I'm not, left it's out. about your like self confidence. It's about your self confidence. So if I had a flat behind, I can still do my it, thing. It, it's how you feel about yourself. Okay. Exactly. This this your booty. If you make it work, <laughs> <laughs> just put on right, something right, really right, nice. Right, you know what I'm saying? Enough. Enough. Enough of the. Booty uh, talk. Yesterday talk. Behind, that's behind. behind. <laughs> 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 All right, so we got to go, but trust me, the greatness definitely continues tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you would definitely go to our studio guest, no yeah. other than Nappy Girl. <laughs> Hey. And of course, any of our were to step down due to social distancing and girl like the yin to my yang, get fair on my. And um, yeah, of course, the entire production team. Thank you once again for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshuke.